I'm Victor Blanchett. I'm a registered trapper in uh, Alberta and uh, I've been uh, on that uh, registered line now since 1982. My mom and dad, uh, both of their families were homesteaders, both from rural uh, Ontario. Uh, one from the Ottawa River, one from uh, south of Algonquin Park. My first fur as a, a young guy was uh, 1963 to the, uh, I sold them through the uh, Ontario Trappers Association. A couple of weasels, a couple of squirrels, and a $3 muskrat. <laughs> I've worked at keeping everything current, uh, staying and you know, the regulations have changed, the, the ethical trapping, all of that has changed, so I've tried to stay in, you know, stay with that. Um, because the industry has stayed so active in countering the negative uh, effects of harvesting, that, that the realization is that, that it's use or lose. It's fairly simple for most people to understand that if you ignore anything, uh, and, and whether it's mice, muskrats, uh, coyotes, for example, um, beaver, that they then will absolutely, rabbits, they'll, suck, they'll, they'll actually uh, self-destruct. What tanning does is basically uh, exchange uh, the, the, uh, the natural oils, the, 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 the oil follicles in each hair, and replaces it with a, um, with a, a lanolin process to, to discourage um, um, deterioration. Without that, th these, these have a, a, a short shelf life. Now there was some income involved. Uh, there was certainly a pursuit in, involved, and uh, and it's an accumulative um, hobby. You 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 just you have to just get better at it as you as you try. You know, you know whether we're stewards of the land or not, um, it's still there's still some pride in maintaining that 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 uh, vocation. Yeah.